Canis is a faith-based organization that exists to basically love and serve soldiers in the military community. The part about Cadence House that is very appealing to me is that they try to address a lot of the pressures that soldiers are under these days. One of my best friends has been in the Army for over 20 years, and so I've seen a lot of military life through his eyes being deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. And where I was in Vicenza, Italy, uh, the Army is involved in a lot of uh, small operations in Africa um, that don't make the headlines, but that doesn't mean that the soldiers aren't dealing with the same things that they deal with in the larger wars that we hear about. The average age for a new recruit is 19. The average age overall, including officers, is 28. So on the whole, these are very young uh, people, men and women, who often have young families. They've seen a lot. They've been to a lot of places that are, that are undergoing a lot of terrible things. You do hear a lot about post-traumatic stress disorder, and I don't want to overstate the, the effect of that on people, but it is very real. A lot of times it's not just uh, professional counseling that helps with PTSD. It can be something like having a good network of friends around you that you can go sit on a couch in a warm place and eat homemade lasagna and talk about your problems or you have a, a warm place where you can go and Skype with your family um, and just kind of make all those connections that help people reintegrate into society. When I spoke with the people at the hospitality house with Cadence, I asked them what they needed. I told them I can do um, anything from manual labor around the, the house, cooking, cleaning, computer work. And when I mentioned computer work, uh, they really perked up and said that's all they wanted me to do was come help them with their computers. They needed a lot of IT support, things that we often take for granted, um, fixing malware, doing updates, setting up printers, wireless, everything you can think of. And, uh, but these are things that, that cost money to get people to come and do. I don't think of IT work as glamorous work, and I don't think many people do. Um, but helping people out isn't about trying to find something glamorous. It's about helping them with what they need. And if I can help people with, with IT work or whatever they need, then, then I'm willing to do it. It's important to remember that uh, there are people everywhere that that could really use what you have to offer. Thank you.